everyone, Jake here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Earth Spark Bumblebee <clears throat> number one in the build a figure set for Mandroid. And uh, since it is very small, and I've seen reviews are like a minute for this guy, I'll also do this one step flip. It looks like an interesting gimmick. Who knows how well it will actually work in practice. So we'll start off with him, but I decided we should do both of them at the same time to save, well, to be more, I guess, expeditious. So I guess look at the back. Seeing one step, he transforms into 21 steps. He looks goofy in his robot mode. He looks okay in his car mode, but he seems to look really good in his car and his robot mode. We'll see how the figure is overall. And then of course, this one, the main thing is the gimmick. So let's get these guys opened up. Alrighty, so here we have Bumblebees out of their packaging. And like I said, I'll go through him first. He is very simple. As you can see, he's like wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly all over the place. Has no articulation really. I mean, if you count this, I guess arms got this far, but that's all they do. They just go ooh, ooh, ooh. and uh, head. Obviously not on a ball joint, but his head is okay. Detail, um, silvery silver for the face, face, metallic blue for the eyes, yellow for the head, and pretty much yellow plastic all over. As you can see, this little latch is very sensitive, which is a good thing for the gimmick because there we are, car mode, very quick. And to reset, just flip out. So this is a true one step changer. And I have seen very few of these um, as of late. Like the, there's some that have come close where they quickly transform, but then there's a couple little things you have to do. Like this world that I got, still got, because I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's from Cyberverse, Cyberverse one step world, but wasn't truly one step. This is truly one step and awesome auto conversion. It just happens almost instantly so that's really cool so you can actually transform your figure as quickly as in the show and even getting to robot mode is really quick just whoom and then yeah of course uh, now if you don't get latched properly he'll just automatically auto convert back to car so if that clip ever goes bad well you're probably gonna get stuck with a car mode which uh, rolls okay it's just standard clip on tires and the car mode itself is okay it's not horrible a little blocky on the front end and on the back end yeah, you can tell he ha he's supposed to have little feet there but other than that he actually looks pretty decent in his car mode and then here we have the actual bumblebee i wouldn't say actual bumblebee, but one that's meant to be more of an action figure rather than a gimmick for a gimmick that's actually pretty cool because it does what's supposed to do it does what's advertised unlike other ones like i mentioned anyway <clears throat> Here he is. Uh, the yellows don't all quite match. Um, I do believe the painted yellow is a little bit brighter. The plastic yellow is a little bit darker. So there's a little bit of a mismatch that is annoying when it comes to bumblebees, but it's not too, too bad. Um, I will say this, so far I'm liking this figure more than the Cyberverse bumblebee. But then again, it's been a while since I had it, so I'll probably just go ahead and uh, do a little bit quick comparison photo-wise. Uh, but otherwise, he. Like, he's really cool. Oh, and also, he does come with the right arm for Mandroid. My only complaint is, is that it's so big and blocky that could have easily put another ball joint right here or a little hinge, something rather than just hollow. So it's, it's going to be similar to, actually a little worse than McAdam, because at least McAdam had a, uh, a ball joint right here. It was a, kind of a weird one, but it still kind of worked. But this, it's just a big blocky arm. So, I mean... It's not too bad, but hey, hopefully Mandroid ends up being pretty cool regardless. He is the main baddie, as far as I can tell. I haven't watched a whole lot of the show yet, which I really need to watch more because it's really cool from what I can see. Anyway, I could say this. Just from that one episode that I've seen of Earthspark, I am more invested in the characters than I have been in most of the Michael Bay movies. You can hate me if, I want, if you want to for saying that, but I will say this. So far, I like it. I'm more invested with the characters than I was, at least for like the last night and... Um, and uh, what was it age of extinction so age of extinction definitely like these guys more than that anyway um bumblebee uh not toy wise some of the toys were awesome from those lines but character wise i am definitely more invested so i'm actually enjoying the toys what's weird is a toy can be awesome but if you have no investment in the character whatsoever it can be somewhat hard to enjoy at least in my experience i don't know if that's the same for you guys but anyway but back to the toy 
Um, yes, yeah, really cool. Uh, the gun is a little interesting, and also be very careful since his hand is on a um, not. It's on a hinge, but the problem is it's, it's pegged into place. It's not really um, well. It can pop off as well. I mean, it's not an actual hinge hinge, which it would have been nice if they could have spun with that because they do have a hinge hinge right here, but they don't have it for the hands, wrists, so whatever. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Like I said it plugs in like that. It's an interesting design. It's supposed to, it goes along with the stinger type gun type thing, and it does look almost like a miniature cockpit in there. And it's very simple in design. That also allows it to clip on the back for storage. Or in vehicle mode, you can also put it on the back for we uh, weapon storage. It doesn't really go anywhere in the um, vehicle mode, uh, like to be hidden, I mean. All right, now let's take a look at that noggin. As you can see, the head is done the yellow plastic, so it's a little bit darker. Silver for the face, blue for the eyes, very similar to the one step changer. Head is on a ball joint, so you can get a little bit wibbly wobbly. Do a full 360, you can look up a little bit down, just a little bit. Shoulders on a ball joint can do a full 360, can go up that far. Bicep rotation, about nine degree bend at the elbow. Uh, and you can also get a little bit more at the shoulder that isn't on this joint, but that's more for transformation. Whew. And you can go up that far with the arms and shoulder. So, um, and then there is no hip rotation, but given they could have done it if they really wanted to, but given how small he kind of is, I can I'll also understand them not doing it, but eh. I guess if they ever do a third party, third party companies, I wouldn't mind seeing some third party figures of the uh, these characters. Who knows, maybe a couple decades down the line we'll get one, but who knows. Anyway, um, yeah, back to articulation. Um, the legs can do pretty much the full splits. And legs can go forth that far, uh, back about that far until the backpack gets a little bit. If you pull the backpack out, uh, it's still not much farther. So I guess it's, not too bad um and also the shape of the hips and waist like it's very clean like there's not much of a backpack so i will uh, say okay not having the hips isn't the worst thing in the world and then you do have thigh rotation it's a little bit lower but it, at the very least it's not a knee rotation so it's not so you still get the bend of the knee so you don't get the weird i i broke my leg look that a lot of uh, the ones that have the knee rotation look and then, um, I guess you can tab those in, you can have them flipped out, depends on how you want his kneecaps, but they do actually lock into place, so that's kind of cool. Um, about a little over 90 degree bend at the knee, more so if you put his leg forward. And he has ball joints on his feet, so you can get a little bit of ankle tiltage, but you don't do it too much, or else you'll probably risk popping off his foot. And that's about it for articulation, so let's go ahead and get him transformed. And you have him in his car mode. It is a little interesting. It is definitely a very stylized, somewhat futuristic look. Definitely wider in the back. But with the vents and all that, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, 
I will admit, I don't know why they don't do it for both the back. Uh, I guess I can see a little bit because of the way the hinge is right there, but I wish they could have at least done that in black, painted black, silver, something, so it doesn't look as much like an eyesore. That's the main thing, because this doesn't look too bad. But I will admit, the snapping on tires is one of the biggest things, biggest complaints I have about car formers uh, in recent years. And of course, there's the faux windshield and all, but I don't really care, because the car mode, other than the wheels, looks pretty good and eh, solid. And then the colors don't blend perfectly, but it's done in such a way that middle of the car is the painted yellow, front of the car and back of the car is the uh, molded in plastic yellow. So it's not so glaring. It's not like, okay, this is the painted yellow. Then it's not as bad as, like, I think the Studio Series Bumblebee for um, the movie anniversary set. That one sucked in my opinion like color wise and the mold i guess was a, a, a okay too and then you can put the gun right here or if you want to you can also still put it on the hood if you so desire now it doesn't stay on as well on the hood but you're supposed to put it there if you want to sort but honestly with the way the car looks i really wouldn't want to put this on there at all and then you can see the difference between the two for um this isn't as sleek like i said it's more blocky but this one transforms instantly. This one eh, takes a couple minutes. And I suppose I'll go ahead and bring in Twitch real quick. And there's Twitch. As you can see, Twitch is much larger than she should be in her vehicle mode. Uh, honestly though, I don't know if these are meant to be, to, they're obviously not meant to be scale because obviously I think Twitch probably would have been core class. Um, but the, it, I think it's supposed to be sort of like the McAdam build a figure where the characters aren't necessarily to scale, they're just all deluxe class. And they're meant to look good together, because either way, Twitch is still going to be smaller than Bumblebee in robot mode. And I guess we'll go ahead and take a quick look at them in the robot modes. Wow! Twitch is pretty much the same size as Bumblebee. I mean, toy-wise. Character-wise, not so much. So either makes looks which look really big or Bumblebee really small. In this case, it makes Bumblebee seem really small. And it's also because Twitch is proportioned differently, so it makes it even seem even worse because her head is a lot bigger. But then again, she is more juvenile. And also, I feel like she's more proportioned. I feel like the Twitch, what is his name? But the, the two bots with the kids, they're, um, they're more human proportioned, I feel. So of course, humans, have heads that are usually bigger than our feet. Twitch is, I wouldn't say isn't necessarily 1% bigger than her feet, but her feet are definitely relatively small compared to her head. When you look at Bumblebee, his feet are pretty much bigger than his head. Yeah, so that's one thing that's interesting about Transformers. Our proportions are quite a bit off from humans, but we don't really seem to notice it. It's weird. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it for comparisons. So, that's about it for Transformers Earth Spark Bumblebee number one in the set for the build a figure for Dr. M -m 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 something Mandroid, but Dr. Mandroid or just Mandroid. But anyway, if you like this review and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. Until next time, have a good one, everyone.